question you might not have ever thought about before. But here it is. Can black people get skin cancer? Hello everybody and welcome to Dr. K Explains It All. The YouTube channel that aims to educate you on your health journey. And not only that, arm you with a barrel load of information so you can make better decisions about your health. Welcome to the first in a series of videos on skin problems. Throughout this series, I'm going to be helping you to understand more about common issues that affect black skin. For the full playlist, click the icon over here. And if you want to subscribe to be alerted on when I release new videos, then we've got some buttons down here. Go on, give them a click. You know you want to. All right then, so can black people get skin cancer? As with most things, there's a long-winded answer and there's a short, straight-to-the-point answer. If you're in the TLDR group of people and you're in a rush to get to the point, then I'll make it easy for you so you don't have to sit through the rest of this video. The answer is yes, yes we can. I want to tell them, yes we can. However, it probably helps to understand the why and a bit of background is always good to know. Anyone with skin can get skin cancer and that includes black people. There are different types of skin cancers with different risk factors for each. The most deadly type of skin cancer is called a melanoma. Like most things in medicine, we like and we're obsessed with subdividing and classifying and the same applies to melanomas. To be honest, the different types and subtypes of melanomas doesn't really make that much of a difference to me as a GP, but to the dermatologists and oncologists out there, it's a much more important issue. Melanomas usually show up either as a new mole or a mole that changes in size, shape or colour. The main risk factor for developing a melanoma is UV light, i.e. sunlight. Tanning beds are another big source of UV light. This UV light, which causes the skin to tan or burn, is one of the main reasons for developing melanomas. Typically, people that are fair or pale skin that tend to burn easily in the sun have the highest risk of developing melanomas. However, even if you never get sunburn, you are still at risk. There are a few reasons why, as black people, we have lower risk of developing melanomas. For one, the melanin in our skin acts as a natural sunblock. On average, it gives us a level of protection of around 8 to 15, you know, the SPF of around 8 to 15, which is some protection, okay? The other thing is that we also tend to indulge in less of the bad habits, such as excessive tanning, using sunbeds. We don't tend to do that, generally speaking. So my main message is that melanomas are rare in black skin. It doesn't mean that this is virtually impossible and you will never ever get them though. They're instead more likely to develop on areas of the body that get less sunlight, such as the bottom of the foot, the lower legs, the palms, the groin and genital areas. They may also begin under the nails as a dark streak or a dark patch and it's important to check these areas. So that's good news. We can all just rest and go home, right? Wrong. Even though we have lower chances of developing melanomas, when we do, in those unfortunate cases, it tends to come with bad news. It's often picked up at a later stage, by which time it may be associated with a poorer outcome or need more intensive treatment. So it's important, even though it's rarer in black skin, still be vigilant and report any changes to your doctor. So my top tips on how people of color and black skin can reduce their skin cancer risk. One, seek shade whenever possible. Try and avoid the sun's rays, especially when they're strongest. This is usually in the middle of the day, between the hours of 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Two, wear clothing that protects your skin from the sun. A wide-brimmed hat to protect your face and your neck, and wearing footwear that covers the whole of the feet, because the feet is another area where skin cancer can often show in black skin. Three, wear sunscreen. There's this misconception that black people don't need it, but honestly, you should wear sunscreen. Not only does it help protect against the harmful rays of the sun, but helps to reduce signs of aging and hyperpigmentation. Dermatologists recommend that we choose a sunscreen that has 
broad spectrum protection that is covers against uva and uvb spf of 30 and above and also is water resistant apply sunscreen to dry skin that will be exposed 15 to 30 minutes before going outside you will need to do this even on cloudy days remember to reapply every couple of hours especially if you've been in contact with water or gotten wet or if you've done any physical sports or activity that results in excessive sweating. Number four, never, and I say never, read my lips, no. Never use tanning beds or sun lamps. They emit harmful UV rays that can cause skin cancer. Tanning beds may seem like a safer alternative than going out in the sun, but in reality, they emit high levels of UV light that can do a lot of damage. Number five, every so often do a mole check. Check areas of your skin like your palms, around your fingernails, your legs, your feet. And if you spot anything new, any new changes, then go and see your doctor. How often is every so often? That's why I put it there because there's no hard and fast rules. For some, it might be once a month, for others every couple of months. It's up to you, but the idea is to get into a routine of checking your skin and reporting any issues to your doctor. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully for those of you who stuck around, then that's giving you an answer and explained about how to reduce your risk of skin cancer. I hope you liked this video and if you did, like and comment below. This video is part of a series of videos on skin problems. Check out the full playlist here. Okay. Also, subscribe to be alerted on when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.